welcome you to the three and our co-host Rhonda is here and ready to hang again. <laughs> again. Oh, that's I what love I'm it. talking about. All right. <laughs> let's do this. All right. Here we go. Many American jobs are taxing. Yep, we know that. Mm. But some, of course, more than others. According to the Department of Labor, urologists have the most stressful job in the nation. The second most stressful is film and video editors, mm. followed by anesthesiologist assistants. Others in the top 10 include acute care nurses, judges, and retail supervisors. The report says most people will spend at least one third of their lives at work. That statistic makes me sad. I'm yeah. actually shocked that uh, we're not up there. Journalists, I you know, mean. video editors was up there. I feel like right. we're partially. Is, I don't no, know. it's different. It's totally different. I feel like I don't know. I mean, I Rhonda, did look at another. Done that too. I so that. Mm -hmm. it is. It is stressful. Yeah. But one that didn't make the list that I'm kind of surprised by are, are teachers. Oh my, yes. I mean, if Especially COVID taught us something, right now. teachers and nurses, you are right. right. You are right. Yeah, Ooh. they should have definitely. We got to redo that report. Yeah, and they need more money, but that's another story. Right. Yeah. Okay, the Spelman family from Illinois are big fans of Christmas and the story of the Grinch. So with the help of their groomers, they turned their oh. schnauzer. How do you say that? Schnauzer? Schnauzer. Schnauzer. Okay, Rizzo <laughs> into their very own Dr. Seuss character. Don't worry, his groomer says that the vegan non-toxic dye that they use is pet safe. The Spielman family says thanks to this temporary transformation, joy has been brought to people all over the world through social media. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's cute though. Oh, cute. He is cute. And Aww. look, I knew you were going to do that. I knew I it. I love puppies. Yeah, you do. He's not a Grinch. He's cute. He's a they baby. They could dress him up as something else. I know, right? Yeah. You like, you like yeah. dogs? I love dogs. Do you? Okay. They're more work than well, you'll see later, my pet of choice, but <laughs> save right. that for later. All right, we're going to talk pets later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are a hit on Netflix. The new docuseries, Harry and Meghan, garnered more than 81 million hours watched in its first week. Netflix says that's the most watched documentary debut in the company's history. Wow. The series also in the top 10 TV list in 85 countries. It includes wow. three episodes focusing on the couple's decision to leave the royal family. The final episode is out right now. So everyone's wow. been actually talking about this documentary. Right. Did you yeah. ladies get to like watch it? Not yet. No? I have. Yeah, what do you think? I watched three episodes and I was intrigued. I don't know if it's done a lot to change anything, mm. but I am interested to hear Megan's side of the story right. because she's been slammed in the media. Yeah. Um, and I know it takes a lot of courage to be in the role that she's in, so I was interested to hear her perspective. Yeah. Nice. So you think it is a must watch, like we, ha we should watch it? Yeah. yeah. Especially okay, cool. you who could watch like 18 hours of Netflix, yeah, I think right? we said right. earlier. Well, that's my next. Yeah. Top of the list, Megan <laughs> and Harry. I'll do that over winter break. Okay. We okay. can compare notes. <laughs>